What's up guys, I'm back for another video. In this video, I'm doing a review of my S5. Um, this is a really good phone, to tell you the truth. Whoops. Um, this phone has a uh, quad-core processor. Um, you have your power button on the side, uh, a flap for the back or case to come off. Um, your home button's down at the bottom. Underneath, whoops, hang on a second. Underneath, you have your flap for your USB slot to charge your phone, which is USB 3.0. Um, on the left, top left, you have your volume up down buttons, another flap for your case or um, the back to come off. And I'm going to fire this device up, shall we? And once you power it on, it's going to say Samsung Galaxy S5, powered by Android. I know this is a blurry camera. I'm using my Android tablet to post this video. Ah, that beautiful Samsung startup boot sound. And, um, this is a really good phone. I'm going to unlock it in a split second here. Hang on a second. Um, let's see. I can... Oops. Sorry, me. Hang on a second. Okay. With, um, with every, and I'll show you all the stuff that has come, came with it. Uh, of course, you're going to have, you know, um, Audible. Um, let's see what else we have here. Of course, we have them have apps that, you know, if you have other Android devices, you can just back them up and put them on here. That's what I did with mine. Um, let me see here. Look, I'll, look at um, S4. So that is an app that came with comes with every S5. And I'm going to do a little sample of it for you. Whoops, not that. That's Skype. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I was opposed to... I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I was opposed to push S4, not Skype. Hang on a second. I'm using this really big giant camera, not Songify. Come on. Okay. Now, S voice is right here, actually. I'll do a little sample. What's the weather like tomorrow? On Tuesday, we will have some sunshine with a few clouds. Perfect. It gives you a what it's going to be like for the weather, what else house we can do. Send a text message. Who do you want to message? Cancel. Okay. So. I won't send it. <laughs> so, yes. With this phone, you can do almost anything you want. Netflix, YouTube, all the main crap. Um... I have my friend Justin here. Anything you want to say about the S5 that I should be aware of? Yes, um, I also own a Galaxy S5 as well. And um, well, uh, the one thing that Kevin missed for people who are really good with processors, this one has a Snapdragon 801 processor. And a, it's a quad-core processor at 2.5 gigahertz with uh, 2 gigs of RAM. And it has the Adrenal 330 graphics chip. And... Um, Another hardware thing that he missed is that there's a fingerprint scanner um, on, the, on the home button, which we, we don't use because it's just, it's crap. I'll be honest with you, the fingerprint scanner is crap, but... I'm going to show a short demonstration of why it's crap. Because, let's face it, it's not that great. Yeah, it, it was good until Verizon released a new software update, and now it's just... I mean, look, I'll show you, I'll show you, you guys... And by the way, um, you know, you saw Kevin's phone say, you know, powered by Android, but mine, mine does say powered by Android as well, but it says custom too, so I'm trying to get that off, but I'm just dealing with it. You, whoops. What you have to do is somehow uh, connect it to your computer and uh, install some ROMs on it or something like that. I don't know how. I don't know how. Yeah, and the thing is, my phone is not rooted, so I really don't understand why it's like this, but, you know, I'm just, I'm, I, I guess I'm going to deal with it because my phone still works. So, you know. so, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to demonstrate the fingerprint scatter, and I'll tell you why this won't work. And Justin, wrote, Justin observed this. He observed this. I'm going to go to finger. You go to fi you go to fingerprint manager, and it says right here. Um, it says, um, 
swipe the entire pad. It's not as easy. But, but it's not me. as easy. But here, let me demonstrate. I'll, I'll show you that I can. As it looks. Here, I will. I will. Um. I, I will try to get a fingerprint on there. I will attempt to get a fingerprint on there, and see if I can get it to work. All right. Oh. So, so, point point the phone towards me, then do it. What Justin is doing is he tr he's trying to put a pattern there and do it this way, do it that way. Okay, we got a fingerprint, but we, then we got to type in the password. But I, I did get that part to work, the fingerprint scanner. But it, it works when you're trying. It works when you're trying to set up the fingerprint. But when you're trying to unlock the phone, that's where it doesn't work. That's where the problem comes. When you're trying to unlock the phone itself. But set it, but registering the fingerprint is easy enough. But you know, when you're trying to unlock it, it just, it's glitchy. Yeah. So, um, I, so this is what my phone is. I just have my phone like this. Let's just... put the two S5s side by side. Um, Justin has the white one. I have the black one. Um, with these two phones, they do the exact same thing. Uh, he's got a gray case. I have a black, which it's obvious for me. Um, the only thing is, I don't like the gray case. It's not because it's gray. It, I don't like the material for it. Yeah, and, um, you know, um, it, 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 like, it always feels like it's going to pop off somehow. And look at this, folks. If it look at this. Otter on black, otter on gray. Why would they fuck this up? Otter here, otter there. Everywhere a fucking otter. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, anything else that you can tell us what this phone is capable of. Um, well, I will say, software-wise, it's running uh, the latest version of TouchWiz, and it's also on Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Also, it has a, a um, uh, a heart rate monitor on this phone, which a lot of people do tend to talk about. Yeah, I don't use it anymore, though. I, I, I kinda How accurate would you say the uh, heart rate monitor is? It's accurate about maybe 80% of the time. Um, stress meter? No, don't. I... I try. I don't. I don't like the stress meter because, for one, it takes a very long time, and two, I just think it's. I don't think it's really worth it. Hmm. And by the way, you can use those through S Health, and, and this phone also does have a pedometer on it too. The, ped the pedometer I do use, but, um, with these two S fives, Justin got his two days after it's released. I got it. A couple months later. Yeah, this phone was released April 11th, and I got it April 13th, so. Um, what are you hoping for Samsung to do with the Samsung Galaxy S6, or Samsung Galaxy whatever they're gonna, gonna call it? I'm not really worried about that right now. All, all I care about is the, is the S5. I'm not really worried about the S6 right now. Couldn't give two shits right now. You wouldn't, really wouldn't give a shit? Not right now, no. Because I'm not even, I'm, I don't even know if I'm gonna, I don't even think I'm gonna get the S6. You don't know if you want another Samsung Galaxy phone? I don't know, I might. If you were to switch another uh, company, what would you switch to? Motorola, LG, uh, HTC? I, I, if I, think you... I, I think I'd do HTC. Maybe. But I, I, would, I would definitely not go to Crapple, I mean Apple. You already watched uh, Justin Ruin's video of uh, why um, he hates Apple. The 10 reasons why. Um, if you're not subscribed to his channel... Um, it shouldn't be hard to find it. And I, just, um, just type just type in 10 reasons why I hate Apple. I think you'll be able to find it. No, actually just type no, if you just type in Justin Ruland, it'll be easier to find me. But um I will t I will I will let you guys know though that um due to my blindness, I do have trouble uh with the camera angles, so you're not going to see much of me, but who cares? You can hear me. It's all good. <laughs> But, uh, um, this is, I know this video might suck only because this is my first video with a big, huge tablet in my hand. And yes, I, I understand everything looks all zoomed in and everything, but, um, I'm just trying to test this out. And I, I tried telling Kevin that it probably wouldn't be a good idea to record on a tablet, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll watch this tonight. We'll see what happens. <laughs> We're already at 9 minutes, 43 seconds. Yeah, usually uh, phone reviews are at least 15 to 20 minutes sometimes. Yeah, but the, uh, um, also check us, check our Facebook group on, a Facebook group, a Facebook group, it's called Android Unlimited. If you're an Android fan, 
uh, will invite you in. And we'll also talk about other, you know, Android devices or tablets, or whatever. Yes, and we, and we do we do put um, we do put videos and apps on our page too that people can download. Like I did a couple of weeks ago, I put a I put the Google Now launcher on our group on our group page. So um, I, I, w I will do that from the Play Store if, if there's an app that I think is worth sharing. I will sh I will uh, post it on our group. So just feel free to join. You can if you have any, if you have any you can ask us any question you can post any questions on our group and we will respond back to you as soon as we can. But here's what I would I'm going to say this flat out. It's it's not rooting a, an Android is not worth it because I'll I'll tell you why. Number one, um, almost everything is free in the Play Store. Not I know I under, I understand not everything is free, but if it does cost you something, it's not a lot of money anyways. Like apps will cost like ninety nine cents, uh, uh, uh two ninety nine at the most. Well, I'm, I, the most the most expensive app I saw was ninety nine dollars. I'm not even joking. I've seen an app at, the, at an app on Apple's App Store, and this is no joke. The app was one hundred twenty dollars. I wonder what it was. It was probably something for the blind, wasn't it? Yes, I I would think. See, and that's the thing, you know. Why should the visually impaired have to pay more than what they have to? You know, dude, I'm kind of confused. We we were we were supposed to do an S five review, and now we're talking about random crap. <laughs> I guess we're running out of things to say, aren't we, about this video? So why don't we just call this video S five review plus random talk? How about that? Sure. <laughs> um, but you know, it, it is true what we're saying though, because you know. I understand there's a lot of stuff that goes into um, developing these apps, you know, especially for the blind, because you got to do a lot of coding and stuff, but wh why make it so expensive? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's helping us. And I mean, and the, like and I said this in my a lot in my Apple videos. Talkback is free in the Play Store. All right? You don't um you don't with with uh, Apple you don't have VoiceOver in the Play Store. You can't update it. There's no updates to VoiceOver. The only time you really get an update to VoiceOver is when you get a software update and they... Like a, like a big update, which Apple only does them once a year. And they do them in the fall, which... I kind of... I don't know. I'm not really fond of it. But, um... Yeah. Um... Like, you don't gotta, you don't gotta pay for TalkBack. You don't gotta pay to update it. Exactly. I betcha you could get... Other apps like that in the App Store, but you gotta pay for them. Yeah, and there there is one app in the uh, Play Store, the ninety nine dollar one. It's it's a uh, mobile accessibility. It's ninety nine bucks, but it's not really worth it when you can use Talkback and it does pretty much the same thing. Of course. I'm glad uh, you guys enjoyed. Uh, keep liking, subscribing, and commenting whatever you feel like doing, and I'll see you guys next time.